On February 2nd, 1996, 14-year-old Barry Lukaitis walked into his middle school algebra class in Moses Lake, armed with two handguns, a rifle, and nearly 100 rounds of ammunition. The aftermath, two classmates dead, and a teacher as well as a student wounded. Since then, eight total school shooting rampages, 19 people killed and more than 40 injured. Today, schools around the nation have faced the reality that special security measures are essential in providing a safe environment for students. Southridge High in Kennewick utilizes a high-tech security camera system, which monitors the campus 24 hours a day. This allows uh, one person to be in many different areas at one time, so it, it, it definitely acts as a deterrent, you know, because if kids know that, you know, that the eye in the sky could be watching at that point, then it could be at that, you know, that they go, nah, that's not worth it to me to do something along those lines. We have about 25 cameras that the students know about. There are a few more that they don't. Vice Principal Ralph Lecomte says the system was a large cost for the district, but explains that every penny spent on the equipment is well worth it. A typical camera system today, depending on how intricate it is, costs from fifty to eighty thousand dollars. On the other hand, the cost of a human life can't be measured, so we're happy to pay the price. Administrators say the watchful eyes in the sky are helpful and bring added benefits to the school. I think the biggest benefit is it makes students feel more comfortable, a little more safe, a little more secure. The main goal of minimizing risk has been achieved at Southridge. Students and faculty say they feel the safe environment will continue with the help of the eyes in the sky. Reporting in Kennewick, I'm Tyler Griffin for Keeper News Watch.